Hello. So I spent an hour trying to figure out how to get this to work, and I got some va very basic stuff working. The core premise of Railgun Rocket is that the Railgun fires 3 meter slugs, 3 meter diameter slugs, and this is a 3 meter diameter tube. So if I try and put stuff on the outside, it doesn't work because obviously you, it'll get ripped off. It won't work. Uh, the, it, the 3 meter limit is, is, is absolute but you can put it on the inside. Moreover, as I said before, if you'd like, you can get rid of the exterior surfaces so you can see the inside. So it's easy enough to place these things interior, inside, on the interior. Now as you can see, the seat collides with the seat, so you have to place things so they don't overlap or collide. And the other thing I allow you to do uh, is I allow you to change how far from the wall you're actually mounting the seat. And there'll be like a visual for that, a pipe related visual for that later on, although there isn't right now. So if I take away all the space from beneath the seat, I actually collide with the concave surface of the wall, so that's no good. Um, just a little bit is fine, but I could also make it like a lot if I wanted to, and everything in between. Uh, and this allows you to actually configure the interior of your ship uh, as you as you would prefer it, um, which can definitely include putting things pretty far from the wall and then having them attached by, attached by pipes, um, and the pipes will be automatic uh, in this case. Uh, now the red means that you can't ever place a seat there because that's a functional mesh. You can't put the seat on top of the door or on top of the window. That wouldn't make any sense. Um, so you have to make sure that the seats are always on the wall. And of course, I'm looking at one side, but I can also go and look at the other side, and it'll work just as well. Anyhow, that's another hour of work. Um, I'm having some serious problems with Unity because uh, Unity doesn't have any ability for me to run mesh collider tests after the fact, um, which is really limiting my ability to do stuff. For example, uh, right now I have a bug where you can put uh, the seat on the surface like this, even though that obviously goes over the three meter limit, um, and that's because I have no way to check whether or not the seat uh, is outside of the three meter limit um, using the actual collision mesh. I only have access to the bounds, which isn't nearly as uh, useful. Alright, well, that's it. Just thought I'd show you a little bit more progress.